Do you think that given the situation with Sarah, you're 19 and she's 14, now you're 24 and this girl is 16, mm -hmm. still a child in the eyes of the state, mm -hmm. and whatever happened certainly was sexual in nature, mm -hmm. both of those are crimes in the eyes of, of the state, misdemeanor, felony, whatever. They're both misdemeanors in the eyes of the state. You're saying that these people that are out to get you have just made up this smear campaign out of whole cloth. So A, right, I did both of those things wrong. B, I've taken total freaking responsibility for them in any way I can. C, right, they've completely and blatantly, and I'm gonna use the word again, absolutely lied about what happened, and the best thing I could do was to do polygraph. Four, there's a smear campaign. And those two things are, are, are unrelated, right? Both of them are true. And it's what more can I do, and tell me and I'll do it, than taking direct responsibility, right? But I can't take responsibility for something that's completely wrong. This did not happen when you were 50. This happened when you were 24. 31 years ago and 36 years ago. Then we now jump to 2006. Please. That wasn't 31 or 36 years ago, that was 10 years ago. Right. And we now have the situation in Israel. Right. And we're talking about women there that are complaining about harassment. You decide to explore this polyamorous lifestyle where you have multiple relationships with different women and you don't tell any of them about it, correct? Right, and I'll tell you exactly what happened. The facts were, right, I was not in any exclusive relationship with anyone. Right, actually they weren't more, they were more like, I and mean, if I would kind of describe it, it was more like a kind of Woodstock scene. <clears throat> and we occasionally had sexual relations or sexual encounters. I wasn't dating any of the women and not telling them about other people, right? What I was trying to work out, what my relationship was to sexuality. What was the relationship between monogamy and polyamory? And I think we have, and we'll probably disagree about this, which is fine, but I'm here to be just straight, right? I'm not here to convince you or to have you like me or not like me. I just wanna say the truth, right? My entire life, and I've tried to figure out, right? Does monogamy work for everyone, right? I think there's a lot of lies about marriage, right? We've kind of made it a holy grail and it's a beautiful way to live. Monogamy is gorgeous, but it's not the only way to live, right? And, and, and so I think that's, so I've been well, trying- Well, I think to... you're filibustering and I think you're <laughs> self-delusional and I think you're playing semantics with me. I don't know what the hell you're trying to say now. Well, I'm saying something really simple. I, I don't know what filibustering means or self-delusional, but what well, I'm look saying- look it up. You, when, when you're I, when telling I'm me say, you don't know what filibustering means? I, I'm not sure what you mean by it. I'm actually trying to speak my truth here. If, if, you, if you think I'm this not... is playing well for you, Phil, I'm, Rock on. I, I'm, thanks for the rock. I'm not trying to play well for me. I'm trying to actually just tell you what my truth is. What I'm actually sharing was that I had multiple relationships. None of them were immoral. None of them were unethical. They were all fully mutual, right? And I didn't feel at the time that there was anything wrong with them, right? I think that my mistake was, my mistake was, was holding privacy and- Well, and, holding privacy means you didn't tell anybody about the other one, right? I didn't tell, I, that's correct.